Hello gamers, YouTubers, I'm back. Um, this is my first collections video and this video will be focusing on the Sega Mega Drive. Um, I do not have a complete collection of Sega Mega Drive games, nor do I wish to complete one. Um, I currently have about 45 games of games which I'm interested in and I'm happy to have. And uh, there are about another 10 video games I'd like to get on the Sega, Sega Mega Drive system. Um, so I will be doing a part 2 of this um, collection video once I've got those games, which I hope to get by the end of, the, of this year. Um, first of all, I'll start off with the, the first game in the list, and it's Alien 3. Uh, a very common game. Um, it's a side-scrolling shooter, and it's Alien, so you've got to have it. Um, it's quite a good game, even though it's a bit hard, but it's good. Anime. Animaniacs by Konomi. It has good reviews, I haven't played it yet. And uh, these two are some of the better games for Batman on the system Batman the Movie and Batman Returns. All these games, by the way, are boxed to complete unless I say other so. Um, there are two games without manuals, which I'll say in a minute. Um, Beavis and Butthead. Um, I think I have this on the Master System, and I think they're slightly different games. Uh, this is, I believe, is a better version of the game compared to one on the SNES. I also have that, by the way, as well. I'm a bit of a Beavis and Butthead fan, so I've got all the ones, really. Uh, it's not like the most cheapest of games. This one, Bloodshot, um, it's a bit of a, um, a Doom type clone, you know, it's um, that type of shooter, really. It's not a particularly great game, but it's okay. Uh, next game, Chikan. Uh, Chikan is uh, quite a pretty game. It's um, it's good music. The controls are a bit difficult, and the gameplay is rather tricky. So it is a bit of a difficult game, and it's got a bit of a criticism because of that. But if you like hard Mega Drive games, I think you know Chikan's for you. Um, I'm doing these uh, collection in alphabetical order, just about really. And the next lot are like Disney games. And first of all is Disney Aladdin. Very good game. Um, it's done by different makers compared to one who did the one on the snares, which is Capcom. Uh, both video games, even though they're very different, are both very good. And this is a cheaper one to get out of the two. So I have Aladdin. Likewise, there was two games, uh, two versions as well for Ariel. Um, I'm not too sure how different in gameplay one on the snares is. I don't think it's a great difference. I think it's the same makers as it is. Really, so there's probably only a subtle difference on these ones, but this is a much cheaper one to get than on the snares. Um, I have a Genesis game that wasn't released on the, in the UK. I don't think this one, and that is for um, a great circus mystery featuring Mickey Mouse. And I have to get all the Mickey Mouse games on the Mega Drive. I also have. Uh, a World of Illusion between Mickey Mouse and Donald. Lots to complete. And I've got a double set here. It's the cheapest way of getting them, really, and that's to have Crack Shot and also the Castle of Illusion. Still with Mickey Mouse, Fantasia. And the last of the Disney games, one which is, is not that good actually. Um, it's. Um, Toy Story. Uh, and, and a, a, um, a good role playing game. Um, it's not particularly common, um, so it can demand its price when it's boxed to complete, and that is um, Dungeon and Dragons Warriors of the Eternal Sun. Flashback. Um, this is a quite an interesting sci-fi type game. The gameplay mechanics aren't that great, but it's, a, it's got an interesting storyline and plot, and quite interesting graphics. This is uh, Flashback. I don't you see that much, but um, it was cheap, and so I thought I'd pick it up. Ghostbusters. Um, the Ghostbusters game on the Mega Drive is very different to one of the ones on other systems, and it's one of the better games actually. Um, 
There's also one on the Master System, which is more like the traditional Ghostbusters, but this one on the Mega Drive is one of the best ones to get out of the, the older 16-bit uh, era. Okay. Um, sequel to um, Ghosts and Goblins, Ghouls and Ghosts, and this is again one of the better versions of the game on the Mega Drive. It, you know, I think you can shoot upwards and all sorts, of, which makes it much more uh, or much less difficult, I suppose. Even though it's still a difficult game, and I hope to play this rather soon on my Retron 5, so I can use all the safe state advantages and so forth, and hopefully get through it. Um, I think it's still going to be bloody difficult, and I still have to follow certain tips about making sure I've only got the knife and things and nothing else. But uh, no, that's a, a lovely game to have, boxed and complete. Um, another classic game, India Jones and the Last Crusade. Mutant League Football, um, a classic game. I'd like to get Mutant League hockey, hockey if I ever see it cheap, although I'm not going to pay for a nose, so it's just one I might pick up if I see it in the wild, which probably won't. It's, quite, you know, it's not the most common games. Uh, Pit Fighter. Um, for home consoles, it's one of the better versions of this particular game, although it's not it's not a good beat up. It's not like Street Fighter or anything like that. It's um, I think it's for die hard uh, die hard players only. I think this one is. Predator 2, again, I'm both an Aliens fan and I'm also a Predator fan, so I have to have this. Um, I got most Prince of Persia games on various systems and so forth, so I had to have this on the Mega Drive as well. Um, it's one of the like, earlier first ports of the game, it has to be done in a certain time scale, I think it's, it's 60 minutes or something like that. Um, it is a tricky game actually. But again, using the Retron 5 safe states, it's made much more easier. Okay, um... Robocop vs Terminator, this is a very good game. Um, it's not the cheapest of game to find, but it's not the rarest either, so um, a must-have for your collection. Um, if you've got a Mega Drive collection, you have to have Sonic. Uh, this was also ported to the older Sega Master System too, but obviously this is a superior version of the game. You can get it on so many um, compilation games or DVDs or, or you know PS2 copies or PS3s. It's the most easiest common game to find anywhere. But you've got to have Sonic on the Mega Drive, and I picked this recent up recently as well for only a couple of quid. Although I'm missing the manual for this, so if anyone's got a spare manual for Sonic 2, please contact me. Uh, one of the better superhero games on the system, Spider-Man. If you've got Spider-Man you have to have Maximum Carnage as well. This one's a bit more of a pricey game to have. Um, it's a good side scoring type beat-me-up type thing. If you like um, with Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle games like that, you'll, I think you'll like this too. More collectible game to have in the system, and I think it's a nice it's one that you've got to have. It's, it's going up a lot in price. Splatterhouse 2 on the Mega Drive. And if you watched my previous video, you might have seen the bit, some footage of this. Splatterhouse 3 on the Genesis. This never came out on the Mega Drive, so you have to get this on the import, and everybody wants this game, so don't expect to get that one cheap. That's all boxed to complete, it's all up new, it's really nice it is. Um, glad to have that. Um, if you like beat em ups, you've got to have Street Fighter, or should I say Street Fighter 2, and uh, the upgraded version of that, Street Fighter 2 Championship Edition. A nice helicopter uh, shooter, Super Thunder Black. Some Warner Brother games, um, or one at least. Uh, Taz in the Escape from Mars. It's quite a nice game, this. I highly recommend it. 
Right, we're Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle games. Uh, these aren't particularly cheap and uh, they're in quite a demand. This one, Turtles Tournament Fighters, is not a good fighting game. I don't think it's, I think it's for die hard people more than anything else, really. If you want the superior game, then I would go for the Hyperstone Heist. But expect to pay a hell of a lot more. Boxed and complete, great game. I said before I'm an Aliens fan, Predator fan, and with that, uh, Robocop and Terminator. And I'll show you one, the Robocop versus Terminator. Well, the, I've got the other Terminator games, so with the Terminator. The Terminator 2. And what people don't realise that there was a second Terminator 2 game called Terminator 2 The Arcade, which is more of a shooter. Uh, have you got the, the Sega shooter, whatever it's called again? Um, Menacer, I think it's called a Sega Menacer. I do have that. I should have got out really. Um, you need, I do use a light gun like that for to play this game, the T2, the arcade. Uh, the Terminator games aren't great really. Uh, if you want a decent Terminator game, get the Sega CD version or the Mega CD version. It's a much better game. The sound on it is fantastic. Uh, the Angry Video Game Nerd did do some videos on it, or a video on it, and so by all means watch that. It's a much superior game to these ones, but you've got to have them in your collection, haven't you? Uh, two games exclusive to a system. Um, they did bring out a third game on the, uh, the Xbox, which I do have. And this is um, Toe Jam and Earl. And Toe Jam and Earl Panic on Funkatron. Quite a quirky, weird games they are. Um, I think Toe Jam and Earl did uh, make a guest appearance on the the game that comes with Sega Menacer as well, but the shooter type one. Um, but as well as those, obviously you got to get on the Xbox, and uh, I don't know if they were ported to any other system or not, I told you I'm not, but uh, anyway, uh, they sort of, uh, I think they were cooler in the time than they are now, but I think uh, that's a, these were games that my, my brother had, and so I sort of felt a bit of nostalgia for them, so that's why I picked them up, really. Okay, the last four games. Um, this game is um, one of the best Superman games on the system, and you can see it in the background. It's for Death and Return of Superman. Now this game um, commands quite a lot of pri high prices, and this one is a um, it's like a licensed repo car, I was I ought to say. Um, Apparently in Mexico, I think they had a uh, license to reproduce um, some of the older games that they claim did. And so this is a ball, all new, and it's actually sealed with a Sega sticker. And the box is made by a claim, well, it says so, it's printed on it, so it's a very good reproduction if not. Um, and all the paperwork is half in um, Spanish for the Mexican market, but also half in English. The game cart is like new. The box itself is slightly thinner than normal um, Mega Drive games. Um, it looks like a proper cartridge, although it's slightly cheaper plastic and so forth. So, if it's a repo car, it's a, I think it's a, I think it was probably a licensed one for the South American market more than the UK market. It's a, it's I'd love to get this one. It plays fine on the on the systems, and it was only um, thirty pounds, which is a good price for this game. If you tried to get a a UK Mega Drive original one for this, you'll pay you well over a hundred, I believe. Um, so I'm quite glad to to pay thirty pounds for that. It doesn't come with any manuals or anything. There's no manuals though, so um, um, I don't know if they do that in Mexico or not. I'm not sure what why that's the case. But like I said, it was sealed. Um, the Sega sticker was um, put on there. I know they can break those and. You could say that this is all a big fake type thing, but uh, it did come from South America, and uh, and I think it is actually you know I think they probably do re reproduce and remanufacture some of the old games out there, and it plays fine. So for thirty pounds, I'm happy to have it. Uh, Revenge of Shinobi. 
the reason why I got this Kenobi game or anything else really, um, I do believe in one part of it, you, you, one of the boss fights is against a, uh, a dinosaur creature that's facing into Godzilla. And I'm a big Godzilla fan, so I like to um, have all games featuring Godzilla, so I've got most of them. Um, there's one or two games on the NES. I've got a few of the games on the NES, but there's one or two which are exceptionally rare. That only came out in the States, and I mean, they're crap to play anyway. But uh, So I, I would like to get that at some point, but it commands a lot of money, so whether or not I'll get all the Godzilla games, I don't know. There's actually a new one coming out on the PS3 and PS4. It's out on PS3 right now in Japan, so if you like Godzilla, do hold on to for later this year for the Godzilla game that's due to come out. It's nothing to do with a movie but it does look good. Um, there's tons of good Godzilla games produced on the PS2 and the GameCube though. So they're the best games to play but uh, I digress a little bit but Shinobi, uh, Revenge of Shinobi, it's, it's a good game all the same anyway. Um, next one is a sort of a horror type RPG type game. Um, it's got relatively good reviews. Uh, I got it for about two or three pounds. Uh, it's actually the Genesis version, even though you can get this in the Master System. I mean, the Mega Drive version. But it's only about two or three pounds. So I thought I have it anyway. It's boxed and complete. It's called Will Harvey Presents with the Immortal. Looks okay. If you like old-fashioned RPG type games, sort of isometric view type thing, um, so I think it's alright. It's two or three quid. Why not? Uh, last game, which you probably guessed in terms of alphabetical order and so forth, is one that um, you get on the SNES as well as Mega Drive. The SNES version commands more money. Um, I don't think there's a huge amount of difference in the gameplay though, so I don't think it matters too much which one you get. It's a, it's a tricky game, it's an enjoyable game, and it's you know if you like zombies and monsters, you've got to obviously have zombies, or, or as I say in America, zombies ate my neighbours really. Box to complete by Kenobi. Um, it's not a cheap game, I think that this cost me about I think it's between 25 and 30 pounds in the end for box to complete um, which is a lot of money for a Mega Drive game but compared to more contemporary modern games you pay more on that anyway don't you so quite happy to have that and uh, that's it, that's my Mega Drive collection so far like I said there is about 10 other games I wish to get I've already got one on order which I'm waiting to come in the post uh, but I hope to get the other nine games f some point this year and towards the end of this year I'll probably do a Mega Drive Collection Part 2. Um, I will be doing other pickup videos and other collection videos uh, throughout the year as well so if you like this by all means uh, subscribe and leave comments and everything else and uh, hope you know hope you okay on viewing and uh, do leave comments and so forth, I do like them and uh, it's nice to have that two-way dog with other people who love retro gaming really. Uh, um, I do um, subscribe to many channels and I think I love Grub Gun. He's, uh, uh, his dry sense of humour is great. I have lots of verbal diarrhea type two-way conversations with him on, on, the, on, the, on the messaging on, on YouTube and so forth. And, and so I've, I must say my videos tend to be a bit more serious than to game and so forth. I like to put in one or two little I don't know, witty or jokey or silly comments from time to time, but uh, uh, Gob Gun's channel, it's its just, you just don't take it serious, it's just, it's good stuff, and uh, he's got over a thousand subscribers, well deserved, and uh, uh, he, him and his um, partner um, produce um, some really good videos, so do subscribe to Gob Gun if you watch this, you probably already are, do watch it, and there's lots of other t good channels out there as well, like Metal Jesus, which are one of the more popular sites, and uh, and and uh, Cine Massacre and all that sort of thing, uh, all the big ones. Um, uh, there's quite a few good uh, UK gamers out there as well, which uh, they, they tend to watch my videos, so by all means, have a look at you know, anyone else watching my videos and have a look on their channels as well, really. There's lots of them, too many to mention. Um, uh, from America, some good ones like Chad Bailey and stuff, he's, an, he's, a, he's a good collector. He's, He's a very down to earth, uh, a, a guy, cool guy, and um, and I said there's quite a number of um, some UK, good UK gamers as well. Um, but anyway, um, I digress massively, so uh, probably bored you to tears. But thank you for watching. Bye.